These people don't exist, they are not real. They were all created by an AI and in this video I'm going to explain how this is even possible, the clever technology behind it and how to train a neural network to generate these hyper realistic photos. We are going to train some of these AIs from scratch and then play around with one of the most advanced AIs out there, StyleGAN3, which can create realistic human faces as well as animals and all sorts of things. But for me, this whole thing started when I discovered a website called thispersondoesnotexist.com. It was a very simple website that displayed an AI generated face each time you refreshed. And the thing that shocked me the most was the incredible quality of the images and how real they look. I mean, just look at this guy, he's got like shiny cheeks and everything. And so after a bit of research, I found out that these images were created by generative adversarial networks, also known as GANs. And this is what the guts of a GAN looks like. As you can see, it's very different from a normal looking neural network. And it's very different in two main ways. First, there are two neural networks in a GAN, a generator and a discriminator. And second, these two work in opposite ways. Let's say you want to train a GAN to generate realistic human faces. The job of the generator is to create an image that resembles a human face. Then you show a real face and the generated fake face to the discriminator, which then classifies the two images as fake or not. The discriminator then tells the generator what it did wrong, and then the training loop repeats. Now, at first, the images are going to be shit. Like, really shit. But as training progresses, the generator learns to fool the discriminator. But enough explanation, let's train our first GAN. A deep convolutional GAN, or a DC GAN. First, we need a lot of human faces. And what better place to get those than celebrity images? Yup, I'm going to use the Celeb A dataset, which is a dataset of more than 200,000 images of celebrities. We got Jeff Bezos, Steve Jobs, Angela Merkel, the guy from The Office, the other guy from The Office, the other other guy from The Office, Joe Rogan, who's next to Joe Goldberg, Borat somehow sneaked into this dataset, Harry Styles, that survivor guy, and many many more. So I'm gonna take all of these pictures and then shove them into the DC GAN. And under the hood, a DC GAN looks like this. It uses convolutional and convolutional transpose layers in the discriminator and generator. The two models are kind of like the opposite of each other. The generator starts with a really small image and then turns it into a bigger one. And the discriminator takes a really big image and then classifies it as fake or real. Okay, let's start the training. During training, the generator constantly tries to outsmart the discriminator by generating better and better fakes. On the other hand, the discriminator is working to become a better and better detective and correctly differentiate the real and the fake images. And after 10 epochs, we got some questionable faces. If we try to compare real images and fakes side by side, it's not too bad. But once we zoom in, they are not the best. There are a couple of good ones, like this guy, or this one, but most of them are trash. I mean, just look at this thing. But to be fair, if I pull out my phone, some faces are getting recognized by my camera app. So I'm gonna count that as a tiny win. The faces also suck because training GANs is notoriously complicated. They are super sensitive to parameters and very unstable. For reference, this is the typical loss curve you get when training a regular neural network. It's fairly easy to interpret and you know when to stop training. This is what I got for the GAN I just trained. What the hell am I supposed to do with this? To solve this, let's move on to a better model, ProGAN. ProGAN means progressively growing GANs. And this is actually more similar to how humans learn because it learns progressively. At first, the models are really small and the generator starts to learn to generate faces at a really low resolution. And when I say low, I mean really low, like a 4x4 pixel resolution low. It then trains to master those 4x4 pixel resolutions. It becomes like a master of 4x4 face images. And when it's good enough, you add more layers to both networks and double the resolution. So now it's 8x8. And once it masters 8x8, you double again and so on and so forth until you reach 1024 by 1024. 
you also need to add some fancy math stuff that I'm going to pretend that I completely understand. And voila, you're now supposed to get some pretty nice images. Let's start training. Well, this is low. Okay, f this. After several hours of training, all I managed to generate is a single 4x4 image. Now, granted, I'm using Google Colab on the free tier, and these models are supposed to take days to train. Thankfully, Aladdin Pearson, who has some awesome tutorials for training GANs, had an already pre-trained model. So don't mind me just doing some magic over here, and ta-da, our model is now trained. Let's see the images it generates. F that scared the shit out of me. Turns out that I had to change the model's resolutions to exactly 256 by 256 because that was the resolution that the model was trained up to. Otherwise, you get this extremely weird, almost color inverted faces. And so once I changed that, I got these faces, which is an improvement. Some of them are actually pretty good. They're also 256 by 256, which is better than 64 by 64. There are still some scary looking faces that are going to haunt me in my dreams, but overall we managed to generate some decent looking human faces. Let's go. But this is nothing compared to what StyleGAN 3 can do. This model was released in 2021 and it can generate the most realistic fake human faces I have ever seen. It's also a progressively growing GAN, but with some differences that I will not get into. Let's look at some of the fake faces it can generate. Just look at the quality of these human faces. And again, these people seem like they are real, but remember, they don't exist. And something I forgot to mention is that you can train GANs with all sorts of images. For example, these are fake cat faces. These are fake dog faces. And these are fake faces of wild animals. You can even train a GAN to generate fake Minecraft images or create paintings of human faces. And you might be wondering, how are GANs able to generate so many different patterns? Where do they get their inspiration from? Well, when I was explaining how GANs work, I left something out. You see, GANs don't just generate images out of thin air. Like humans, they also need some inspiration. And that inspiration is something called a latent vector. It's basically just a bunch of random numbers that inspire the generator to make the faces. In the case of StyleGAN 3, this random vector has hundreds of random numbers. And if you slightly change this number, the resulting image is going to slightly change as well. Let's try an example. I have this very handsome man here. However, I just feel like he would look way better if he were wearing a hat. So I just play around a bit with a latent vector. Some of the changes to the vector are going to make some changes to the image that I don't want. But eventually, boom, my man is rocking a hat and he's looking fresh. I can even change the type of hat I want. Changing the latent vector is also how I'm able to generate these videos. I basically take two random latent vectors and calculate the difference between them. And then I generate every face in between them. You can even try to find a latent vector that produces a certain face. So for example, if you take a photo of Obama, it will try to find the latent vector that generates the most similar face to Obama. I also tried it with PewDiePie and it works quite well. Now, if you remember, the reason I'm making this video is that I discovered this person does not exist.com. However, it's no longer working because it just redirects you to stability AI. So I made my own. I generated a bunch of fake faces, made a website and bought a domain name and voila, it's called thisfaceisfake.com. You can see fake faces of cats and dogs and obviously humans. It might crash since I'm paying the cheapest hosting possible, but if you wanna see some fake faces, go to thisfaceisfake.com. I'm not trying to sell you anything and there are no ads. It's just for fun. As always, consider donating to my fundraiser. I'm trying to raise $10,000 for charity by the end of 2023. You can get all the code I use for this video if you donate $5 to charity. As promised, I'm also donating all my AdSense money to the fundraiser. So yeah, consider donating. I also started a Discord server in case you want to join. And if you like this video, you'll probably like this other one I made about AI art. 
Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.